Okay, so uh, what we're doing next is our uh, potato and green pea patties, which is again a really popular uh, Bombay uh, street food kind of a snack where they make these patties and they use it again to just have it as a patty or put it in a bun and you can have it as a potato sandwich with the chutneys that we made earlier. So just quickly go through, again I've got some um, boiled potatoes here. Get them into the bowl there and what you want to do is give it a little crush with your hands or if you have a potato basher, potato masher at home use that as well. What you do not want is to overcook the potatoes and make it all mushy. We just want a texture, a bit of texture in it. So what we want to do is just break the potatoes down like that into tiny, tiny pieces like that. And to this we're going to add the rest of the ingredients that are here. Okay, some chopped onions, chopped ginger, chopped green chili, again green chili with seeds, without seeds, as much as you want, you know, really, if you want to go crazy with the heat, add loads of green chili to it. And then we got some green peas here, what I'm trying to do is before I add these green peas is just to kind of crush them. So they blend in really well with the mashed potato. They mix, they mix up really well. And loads of chopped coriander. This is all the spices and uh, this is all the ingredients that go in there. And we're gonna finish it off with a pinch of turmeric and again a pinch of chili powder. And of course a little bit of salt. Mix it all up. And what I have here is some chaat masala again, uh, the same chaat masala that we were talking about in the previous recipe. So again another pinch of that. And what I want to do is just mix it all up and I'm going to just add a little bit of semolina to it or you can add breadcrumbs as well just to bind it and then let it, let it hold its shape when we uh, cook them on the pan. So what you want to do is divide them into small balls like that and then just give it a little press with your hand. Okay, so we've got the patties ready now and I have a, re a really hot pan with some oil, vegetable oil on it. So we could, the patties are good to go onto that pan there. And you can hear that really lovely sizzle that they make when the pan is nice and hot. So put them all in the center like that. You can put a lot more. I'm just showing three at the moment, but you can actually make like 12 of them on this pan here. So as you can see, really nice uh, brown color on them at the moment. And Ali said, I said it just takes literally a couple of minutes on each side and then they're good to go. So let's just try to flip them and see. So you get that really beautiful color on both the sides. So as you can see, the patties are really nice. They're well cooked, really nice golden brown color on them. And what we're gonna do is the presentation. Again, the chutneys that we have made earlier, the tamarind sauce and date and tamarind sauce and the green herb chutney, both of them go really well with these potato patties. So just take a little bit of that on the plate and just give it a little drag with the spoon so it make a really nice design out of it. Don't worry if you can't do it, just put it in a small chutney bowl and keep it on the side. And then what I want to do is just take a little bit of those coriander leaves and then sprinkle them all over. That's it, that's ready. Ready to go, good to eat, all done. Okay, we come to the third dish on the menu now. It is uh, vegetable pakoras. Uh, my absolute favorite and my that's the quickest thing my mother could make when we are back from school um, for our afternoon tea time snack. Uh, what we need for this is 
some vegetables that I've already cut here. So I got some really nice colorful peppers here. I got some carrots. I got some white onions and some red cabbage. Um, you could use white cabbage. There's no need to use purple cabbage or red cabbage, but uh, I just added because it gives a bit more color to your pakoras, which is much more like summery kind of pakoras. So what we want to do is get all those vegetables into this mixing bowl here. And we'll add the rest of the ingredients that are on here so first thing what we're gonna add is that spice powder that we have made toasting fresh five spices cumin coriander cloves cinnamon and cardamom a nice spoonful of that and a pinch of turmeric powder again pinch of chili powder some chopped green chilies and this time I'm going to use whole fennel seeds in it. Okay, so we're gonna just put, just for the really nice texture and bite and a burst of nice fresh fennel when you eat, when you bite into those pakoras. Chopped coriander, a good amount of it. And then I got some curry leaves. This is how they look like if you haven't seen them before. Now, again, these are available in the Indian or Asian supermarkets these days, or you can get them in dried form in any supermarket. Uh, all of that so curry leaves I just tear them with my fingers at that and what we're gonna do is just add some salt to it and then we're going to add this flour which is called chickpea flour or basin or gram flour you call it um, this is uh, made from chickpeas and this is gluten-free so you could use this is what we use commonly in uh, in India to make uh, batters for pakoras and bhajis Okay, so a couple of spoons of chickpea flour and I have here some rice flour as well. Um, if you don't get rice flour, don't worry about it. This is just half a spoonful, just to give a different texture, different crispiness to your uh, pakoras. But if you don't get it, don't worry about it. And that's, that's all the ingredients that's in there. What we're gonna do is start mixing them up. Add a little bit of water to bind it all together. Keep adding water from time to time. I see the consistency. If you need more flour, we'll add more flour to it. Okay, so it looks like it's still not coming together, so it needs a bit more of gram flour in there. So all we're trying to do is to kind of make it into a one big lump, like that. So when, you, when they all bind together like that, that means it's ready to good to go into your fryer so we got this oil nice and hot in our fryer our pakora mix is ready to go Let's take a spoonful of it and slowly drop it into the oil now I know that you might not have a tabletop fryer at home so what you can do is take a deep pan and put some oil in it and then heat it up heat it up to about 180 degrees now how would we know if it's 180 is just take a little bit of pakora mix and drop it like I'm doing and if you see that it floats immediately to the top that means your oil is good to go So we just get all of those little spoonfuls of our pakora mix in there. So just as I said, a couple of minutes is all it takes. You get your really nice crispy vegetable pakoras that they're ready to go. So all you want to do is just to drain them on a paper and then just serve them hot. It's one of the easiest and quickest snacks that you can make. And you can add any vegetable, you can add courgettes to it, you can add radish to it, you can add mooli to it, you can add as what, whatever vegetables that you want to put in there. So here we have those lovely colorful pakoras that we made. Uh, what I'm gonna do is just plate them up. And then I'm going to give it a really nice drizzle or sprinkle of this chaat masala that I was talking about. It also acts as a flavor enhancer. So we use it in different times, in different forms and different recipes. And then we get those two chutneys again that remember that we made last time. Um, date and tamarind and mint and coriander. And here we are, really nice and colorful pakoras, vegetable pakoras with date and tamarind and winter herb chutney, good to go.
Thank you.